I always had this sense that that people in relationships were the most essential item. I mean, that's where God dealt with me first, was very much so on the idea that relationships last. When I would compare that to my family relationships, I'd get confused. I grew up in a place where my identity was not clear to me. Mm. I really was unsure about how I was loved, how I was taken care of in a certain way. That really left me on the outside. I really felt like I never belonged. When I started studying and really understanding marriage and family therapy, I said, ah, this is a dual purpose. These are the twin pillars of how relationships work. Identity through this sense of love and attachment, safety through this sense of trustworthiness and stability. And what I started to realize is that those twin pillars set the stage for everything we do in relationship. My work has been focused on how do we as individuals start moving into relationships and moving into intergenerational mm -hmm. relationships mm -hmm. by really making solid love and trustworthiness, identity and senses of safety. The beginning of wisdom is calling things by their proper name. Mm -hmm. And so I think that it is sin when we violate people's, instead of loving, we're hate-driven. Instead of being trustworthy, we're really unstable or unpredictable. When we do those types of things, we, we're either always building a bridge or we're taking pieces off the bridge. I think that it's really important to remember that that's the power of relationship. The things that were given to me, the good things that were given to me, what will I do with it now? Yeah. And the only way I learn how to do that is by confronting some things that were not okay with me, improving that, making that better, so my children have a basis then to do better by their children.